All right, what's up guys? Uh, I know my content's been kind of repetitive, so I thought I'd change it up and film in a literal hurricane. We got barrel or Daryl or something. I mean, this shit's getting out of control. The lake is, uh, the lake is in my backyard. Yep, the lake is out here. And it is just 30% chance that it's already raining. And, and let me tell you, this, it is quite blowy. I don't know if it's coming from the north, the west, the east, or the south, but it's definitely blowing from some sort of direction. There's trees all over the place. The pool's overflowing. The house has leaks. But you know, a positive attitude and more money, people, that is just gonna fix anything. So sit back and relax and we'll see if the house is still here by the end of the video. We have officially survived our first hurricane here at the maxi pad. And my experience was, it got a little stressful at times. Uh, the backyard, I was like, oh, my house is gonna flood. It's gonna flood because the lake water started coming up into the lawn. It's never done that before. <laughs> but luckily, it stopped. Thankfully, I would. I, can you imagine if I put a, if a thumbnail and it was just like my house flooded and it floated away? Everyone would be like, huh, classic Max. Oh, the house. Oh, it's, it's in the middle of the lake. Oh, the alligator is uh, on top of the house. Yeah, of course that happened to Max. But actually, the house survived the best in like the whole neighborhood, which is kind of crazy. I think it's because we don't have a lot of trees. So you can see, like, my neighbor here had some stuff fall on their house. And um, just throughout the neighborhood, there was some pretty big damage. So I hope everyone is okay, obviously. But for us, really just a little water leakage here and there but with hurricane weather it's kind of inevitable it's kind of like sour strips become the most popular candy brand in the world right you, you can't prep for it you can't prepare for it it's just going to happen so you just got to accept it but we are on day three of no electricity no water no cell service i'm shut off from the outside world which is probably good for the outside world uh and it's like 96 degrees hot as fuck also getting everywhere takes forever because you know since power's out you have to treat all of the stop lights like a four-way stop see at the office trees down oh no trees down trees down <laughs> i'm so scared right now is what all of you are probably thinking about the inventory at the warehouse because the power's out and uh, you know we have candy right but don't fret because the type of product that we have at sour strips is not one that melts very easily so it would not only is it not that hot in the warehouse it would have to get like real it would have to be like baking in here for anything to damage the candy so I know you guys were stressed out I know you guys were stressed out because I have my entire life savings uh, in this warehouse and it could all go bad but don't worry we're good, I think, maybe. No, we're good, I, I think, maybe. All right, I have something really exciting to show you guys. Uh, I am putting together Taylor's birthday present, which I think she's gonna lose her mind about. Um, I, I, you know, every time there's like a special event, uh, you know, for Taylor, I try to make it something memorable, something that she's, you know, mentioned to me years ago that she wanted. It's, um, I try to just to make it special and thoughtful, right? So this one I think is gonna take, I don't know if I can ever get her a better gift than this, but so th the way I'm gonna tell her is I, I thought up this kind of creative way. I, this, is, this is my brain, okay? I thought this up. I didn't see this on Pinterest or anything. So I got this map, because we're going somewhere, okay? I got her this map. Right, and it has like all the different locations of the, the world or whatever on there. And then I got a bunch of these flags of different countries. And the idea is I'm gonna have a little picture of like me and her on a plane, and I'm gonna have these little flags all over the map, and I'm gonna say, Where do you like we're going somewhere? Where do you think we're going? Right? And she's obviously not gonna know. She's gonna be like, I don't know. And then what I'm gonna do is I, I got this, so then she can't see what the song is. I got, do, do y'all know what this is? This is a cassette, you play music from it. I don't know if y'all are old enough, but I got this, I, I put a song on here. I'm gonna say, if we're gonna play this song when we leave where we're going. So the hint will be, we're gonna play this when we're leaving, like from, from the thing that we're going to, okay? And she's gonna put it in, and I just realized that I don't have any, how am I gonna power the, how am I gonna power the, I'm gonna, and then she's gonna hit play, and the song that's gonna play is a song by Taylor Swift, and it goes so, so long, long, London, long. I, I think I'm nailing those notes. The song is So Long London, because we're going to frickin' London for the Taylor Swift Aries tour. Ah! Why am I talking this high-pitched voice? She's gonna lose her mind. 
she is going to lose her mind. All right, I think I'm done. I'm making it my mission uh, to uh, have this, uh, like, have this gift giving the experience that I was like imagining. I obviously put it off to the last minute, but I didn't expect to lose all the power. You know what I'm saying? Um, we have been creating a little Taylor Swift. Who's texting me? Oh my God, it's Taylor. Little does she know. Uh, making these. I got to make a couple more graphics. We're gonna print them off. We're gonna laminate them. And then we, and then it's the big moment. I actually might be more excited than Taylor to go to this concert. Your boy's a little swifty. I admit it. I embrace it. I love it. Fuck. All right, uh, it didn't totally go to plan how I wanted to do it uh, because the flags that I bought were not the correct flags, obviously. So I bought these popsicle sticks and stuck them in these little uh, foam things. And we have a London, Paris, Mykonos, Cape Town, the Maldives, Tokyo, and Sydney, Australia. I'll tell you one thing, I am a very dumb American because I, like, can y'all, do y'all know where freaking uh, the Maldives are on a map? Do you know where Mykonos are? Probably, but I didn't and I had to Google it. It's kind of embarrassing, but you know, I'm authentic. And then I'll be like, hey, do you want a hint? You will play this when we leave. And then you're like, Max, how are you powering the, the this thing? Well, I ran an extension cord out of the house and into the Jeep because Jeeps better than Bugattis have a, an electric plug. So I turn the car into on. She's definitely gonna be like, why is there electric? It doesn't matter, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. I love giving gifts. Oh, I love giving gifts. Oh, I love giving gifts. All right, let's do this thing. Hey. Hi. Come on in. What is this? Happy birthday. Thank you. Where are we going? We have a lot of cool destinations. Why are we going on a trip for my birthday? <laughs> Because, do you want a hint? Kind of. Okay, here you go. You'll play this when we leave. There you go. This is so cute. <laughs> what made you think of this? <laughs> I thought it up, I don't know. <laughs> play me? Right by, they're playing now? Mm -hmm. How do we have power? I ran it into the Jeep. Places out of here. Oh, I'm the only one that stood up. I love you so much. Oh my god, you're literally the best. How do I top this for you? Woo! Randy Taylor Swift! Um, 6 30 in the morning. Slept it. Oh, Taylor's calling me. It's her birthday today. Hey, happy birthday. Hi. Hey, birthday girl, bachelorette girl. How you doing? Sleepy. Yeah? It's 4.30 here. I was filming a clip for, for YouTube. Say hi. Hi, YouTube. Look at how beautiful she is. By the way, don't get it twisted. She didn't call me on her birthday. I called her, but she wasn't awake yet. Uh, okay, I slept at Christian's last night. House still has no power. I do need to go grab some stuff from there, but the warehouse, the office got power. Thank you, sweet baby Jesus. But I need, so I'm gonna go by the house. State of Christian's last night. Did I say that already? I don't know, I'm out of my mind. Uh, I gotta go by the house and then by the warehouse and I'm going to listen to the new Slim Shady with the death of Slim Shady, Coupe de Grasse, new Eminem album. I'm gonna listen to it uninterrupted and you guys are gonna get my thoughts. This is a solid, I'll probably get, I might be able to listen to the whole album during this entire drive. I'm so excited, oh my God. Guys, there, if there's things I love in this world, Taylor, Golden Doodles, Jeeps, Margaritas, and Slim mother effing Shady. Oh my gosh, I'm so pleased, please be a good album.
please. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? I am only five songs in to this album. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, we're at the office. We gotta get some work done, but I've listened to the first 12 songs uninterrupted. And let me tell you, let me... Eminem is... A, this is... This... This is... This is... This is... This is the album. This is so good. This is so good. And if Shawley and Russ are like, Eminem's not that good. Oh my God, Future's way better than Eminem. I'm gonna, I'm gonna literally, I'm gonna, what the fuck? Ever. Guys, I think my two favorite songs so far, honestly, Antichrist and his verse on Fuel. I don't know who this other person is on Fuel, J.I.D. or something, but the Fuel, oh! And Antichrist, Lucifer, it, oh, it's so good, it's so good. I know that my high energy is pretty obnoxious. I, I need to, I, I, maybe by 35 I'll grow up a little bit. Let, 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 let me, I can't say, let me try a little different. <clears throat> hey guys, uh, so I've listened to half of the new Eminem album and to be honest, I really like it. I think it's swell. Um, the, the lyrics are just top tier and the beats on the tracks are, uh, they're really thumping. And my acquaintances, Sholly and Russell, although not big fans of Eminem, um, I really think they're going to change their minds on this. And uh, yeah, some of my favorite tracks are Fuel and Antichrist. They're just, well, they're just great. So give it a listen and uh, smash thumbs up button. On the, I gotta stop that, I gotta stop. Glad to be back in the office, able to get some work done, get some shipments out, get some more candy flowing out to the people. Uh, I had to pick up this uh, like severe heel cracking tool that I've been using on the heel of my foot for the past like two weeks, and it's not gotten better. And I feel like showing feet stuff is pretty gross, but this is like my heel, and maybe you guys can help because, my, like, you should call my heel cocaine because this thing is cracked. I mean, look, look at that. I'm gonna show you this, okay? If you don't like feet or heels, but like, what do I do with it? Look at this, look at this, okay, look at this. Like, look how, do you see how cracked that is? Well, I put the lube on there, but like, I mean, it is so bad and it like hurts to walk. It like literally hurt, I'm like, how did this happen? I'm, I look, I'm, is, am I not moisturizing my feet? Am I supposed to moisturize your feet? Is this the best thing? I don't know, my heel, it hurts, help, help. Help! Hey, Mona. Oh, baby, let me tell you what. It is glorious to have fresh air conditioning and power in here. The uh, warehouse employees are currently listening to Passion Fruit by Drake, which I'm about to let everyone go if they don't turn on the Eminem album right now. Hey, check this out. We got a new warehouse toy I want to show you. It's a, it's a tape machine. It's a machine that tapes boxes. That's literally all it does. This thing was about $5,000 or between three to $5,000. And I've shown this before, but we actually got a second one, okay? We got two of them. And I wanna talk about the, the, the amazing benefit of a box taping machine. That is what my content is in 2024. So we get our candy like this, uh, comes with 12 bags inside. This is called a, a retail tray or an inner pack. So inside of this is 12 bags of the best candy in the world, right? And what the team would used to have to do would take 12 of these boxes and then they would build, you know, they tape the bottom of one of these boxes and then put 12 trays in this master case. And they would do that all day because we just need it to send it out to Target and all that, right? Well, it took about eight people to pack 600 of these in one day. With this machine, you can pack about a thousand of these per day with, with about half the people. So about four to five people doubling the output of what it used to take eight people. And it's also a, uh, a significantly less like strain on your back because before they were kind of packing it down on the ground and having to tape it. Now everything is kind of like, um, you know, waist level and it's just more optimized. And so you're gonna save on the labor. You're gonna have better like work environment because people aren't as like doing as much manual labor. You can have less employees doing that task and have you know, the other employees now doing other things. You also now, instead of buying these little tape rolls and using like arbitrary amounts of tape to tape the box, you can get cheaper uh, tape by the foot up here. It's cheaper per like inch of tape and it's gonna exactly put the perfect amount of tape 
on each of it. So you're gonna use less tape over time. So you're gonna spend less money on tape. Better work environments, more output, saving money. That's the, that's the key to success is, 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 is the tape machine, is that exciting? Don't, I don't know, I'm, I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. I also need to get a haircut. My hair is getting out of control. Is there something on my lens? What the, what is on my lens? Ah, perfect, all cleaned up. Still need to get the dirt off of my face. I'm taking refuge at, do you remember this guy? Look at this. Who is this? Uh, this is Joe. Christian finally got some pussy. <laughs> what? This is Joe. You can, what? Max wants me to name him Joe. I thought that'd be funny just to disrespect it, it, our friend. It, it would be pretty funny. So what's the story with this cat? Uh, I was actually right by your house on Highway 6. Didn't come over, but... Didn't come over. Super busy. Uh, Post-hurricane. Uh-huh. Aftermath. Mm -hmm. No one has power. See this cat at a stoplight, and I'm like moving, run across my tires, get hit by the car next to me, and keep running. So I pulled over, tried to get him. He came my way, jumped into a fountain. What? So he was, he was literally going to drown. Like, there was no way he would have gotten out of that fountain. So I jumped in the fountain. That's crazy, man. You uh, destroyed a tortoise's life, but you rescued a cat's life. It's, it's, it's if any of you get that reference. It's a, it's, a, it's a cat. It's a cat. Siamese cat. Christian's falling in love it's with this cat. It's a lynx cat. Lynx Siamese cat. Are you going to keep it? I think so, bro. Christian is literally in love. Unless Heidi's, like, allergies really start acting up. Yeah. Even then, I'll just... Make her get some shots. Hey, something. thanks for letting me stay here, here tonight. Yeah, it was like old times. I was actually, I, fil I went to my house and filmed the clip. I was going to stay at the warehouse tonight, like at my office. <laughs> I'm serious. It's so sad. I didn't have a title for the video, so I was going to put staying overnight in my warehouse. Dude, maybe we should. We should sleep at the warehouse. <gasps> I would have gotten so much shit for that. <laughs> <laughs> People knew I Christian's just here like 68 degrees. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, what do you think the girls are doing right now? Definitely, probably, they're probably, pr today's like the main drinking day, I think. Yeah. So I think they're probably pretty fucked up. You think they're drunk? I would. <laughs> and, uh, yet again, day number... What, five? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and it is now Saturday, day six of no power in the house. I just, I, I don't understand, I, I, I did some research and like apparently Texas, Texas Texas is, Texas is, power grid is apparently like just a terrible power grid. I don't know what that means. I don't know what it takes to turn on electricity, but here's something that in my head, this makes sense. If every time there's a storm, we know that wind and rain and trees falling are going to ruin the power, you would think after like a hundred years of that, they would go, I think we can find a solution. I don't know what that solution is. I have no idea what it is. I'm not an electrician scientist. I'm also not a wizard, but I feel like there's a solution. Oh, we know exactly what's going to cause the outages. I say we don't do anything. Who's texting me? Oh, it's your mom. I, I, I got, I, I'm engaged. All right, so I am gonna wrap this video up. I hope you enjoyed a little week in the life of MaxiPad and the hurricane, and it is so hot in this house. It is like 90 degrees. I have all the blinds down, but I just, oh, I didn't even pop a molly and I'm sweating. Um, I'm going on a little trip. I, I don't wanna call it a vacation because I still end up just working the entire time and stressing the entire time, you know, because I'm an entrepreneur, motivational, follow your dreams. Um, but it should be a cool little uh, different work environment. So we will, uh, you'll see that in the next vlog. If you could smash the thumbs up button, it really helps the channel. Uh, I'm losing my mind because it, I'm so hot right now. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in Smash thumbs up button. Did you smash thumbs up button? Did anyone make it to this point in the video? If you did, smash thumbs up button. And if you made it to this point in the video, definitely smash thumbs up button. <laughs> I will see you uh, from a cool place in the next vlog. No podcast again uh, next week because we didn't have any power. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Big gulps, huh? See you later. <laughs>